So VW fans, here we go. Here is video number two. It's kind of an update on the first one. Everything's back together as you can see. The car ran beautifully. Um, the only problem I had was that the turbo wouldn't stay on consistently. Um, if I was driving above, let's say, 1800, 1800, yeah, that's right, 1800 RPM, the turbo would kind of drop out and the computer was saying I had an overboost or underboost, something like that. It turned out that it was the hoses. You see those uh, the new yellow silicone hoses. I bought those off of eBay and they were roughly about 20 bucks delivered to my door. Great stuff. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the vacuum reservoir and move it to a different location. Now I'm doing this in anticipation of using a product that's going to actually recirculate some of the oil that comes out of the hockey puck on top, <laughs> the, the uh, positive crank valve. Um, I'm going to actually take some of that, uh, the oil, and filter it out through another canister device. The canister device is made to separate the oil and only let through the, the gases. And that's what a, a PVC valve is supposed to do. It's not supposed to let through a lot of oil, but a Apparently on TDIs what happens is we get a lot of oil that shoots down, it gets stuck in the intercooler, and then it starts to combine with sit through the EGR, and then it cakes up your intake. And we all know about the caked up intakes. So I'm going to take this, um, I use the 8 millimeter socket, and I'm going to actually take this bulb, and I'm going to move it from where it is to right here. But in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is make a small little bracket and I'm gonna make a bracket out of some galvanized electrical um, uh, retainers so I'm just gonna take a rough measurement here cut it to size clean it up paint it um, put a screw right there uh, I don't know what that screw holds for but it'll work perfectly for doing this and then after I do that I'm gonna reset this bulb here and I'm gonna place my canister here the separator canister here for the oil. It's work out great. I'll show you at the end of the video how that works out. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to size and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. Here we go.